So in most of the cases, it is running in uh, no headless mode. So browser won't open. Only few of them the it is opening. Uh, I think this which browser it is. Firefox, huh? yeah, Firefox. So only Firefox launched, but other browsers uh, they ran in Debo. So headless mode only. Chrome browser test, you can see. So it ran in uh, headless mode only. So why this one? Progress for. Um, set up right. It less equal to new options. Why right it open in this one? It's all set. Let it run. You see, so it is still unsurprised. One fail, seventeen passed. This is all passed. But I want to see. Why one still running? Eight skipped, nine failed, eight passed. So we need to see why. This is a, this is a bigger challenge you can tell in the interviews also. Uh, you have to configure the test cases properly. Otherwise, this is going to be messed up. You cannot run them properly. So you have to make changes in the configurations only, not in the test case, only in the configurations, like here. We are changing right here. So that one only. Uh, let me see. Uh, it. Yes, is going away. So this method they removed. To we did this one only. Still not working. National hmm. headless since version identity form has a new headless mode. Does not have the full. For the functionality, which in between washes and it drives this Chrome. Headless it Yeah, Chrome it ran in headless mode. Using headless uh, should bring a better experience when using headless with Selenium. Um, headless mode of option Chrome block. This one only. We'll try the new headless mode. We'll pass the headless equal to new. In command name font. Yeah. 
the Lord renewed. Before we should, yeah, we, we had this set headless. That was easy, but now it is. Let's go to downloads. Maybe docs. Change logos. We will remove the headless methods. Okay. Never get set headless method in 4.8.0 and 3.0. Headless. So.
Okay, so I'll show you this tomorrow. I don't want to waste time here. So let's get, uh, no, start with a new topic. Uh, this one I'll show you tomorrow. I'll research. So before it was a straightforward method. So now they deprecated the set headless method and uh, Chrome uh, that also not running. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll do that. Time out exception. We're getting a lot of... Uh, errors here and we need to see why all these are skipping so no such element exception yeah so general it should not do that so previously it passed now it is skipping everything failed now in the Chrome browser, yeah, when it run, Google is passed. Firefox, Google progress bar is passed in Firefox. Edge browser, all are failed. Session is passed. Progress bar failed. And uh, this one failed. Chrome browser, JetK demo failed. I'm not sure why. So in the yeah headless mode is working, but uh, yeah we need to see one by one we'll run in headless mode. Okay, let me run this uh, only in headless mode. I don't have to give up this. Mm -hmm. Which uh, has Let's run this in headless mode. CD, no browser didn't open. So it is going fine. That option is correct, whatever we have given Chrome. So it went fine, right? This is passed. So let's change Firefox. And uh, So then it's not working on Firefox. Firefox browser is opening. That's not correct. It should not open. Yeah, test case is passed, but uh, it is. Uh, it should not open. Edge. So let's run. Edge is running in. Headless mode or not. Yeah, headless mode, edge, and Chrome is running with that option. But only Firefox is not running in headless mode. So that option is working fine. Why only edge and Chrome is working is Chrome and edge are one family, the Chromium family. Firefox is a different category. So this option is not working for this option is not working for Firefox. So Firefox we need to see so whether we have a set headless else. options dot set uh, headless. It's not there. 
it's not there. So add arguments only. But add arguments only when it use, but that is not working. So how to run in? Yes. No, in box. I will just set headless equal to just headless, okay? So we'll see now. Um, Firefox, right? Firefox. Yeah. So it's working. So we need to set uh, only headless, but in the Chrome and Edge, you have to set headless, iPhone, iPhone, headless equal to new, but Firefox, just iPhone, iPhone, headless is enough. Okay. So we are good now. So let's, let's trigger now properly. So for all the, uh, this is the headless and uh, then this is fine. Chrome. Edge is fine. And here also headless, headless equal to new, headless equal to new. This is good. Google stations, headless equal to new. For edge, Chrome also headless equal to new. This one is just a headless. One more time, last time we'll uh, trigger. And then if we're not working, we can move on to the next topic. So we don't want to waste time here. Nine failed. Stretch. Eight skipped. Hmm. So yeah, I'll make it, you know, I'll work on this. Uh, tomorrow I'll show you that uh, in the headless mode. But normal mode, they are passing, right? Headless mode, why they are failing? We need to figure it out. The uh, MS browser, Chrome browser, JetK demo, all are failing. Before method is failing. Time dot exception. That can live demo equal. This also failing. No such element exception. Okay, so this is failing, but fine. We, I'll show you tomorrow. Okay, so how to run in. Okay, let's move on. Uh, other one, last uh, topic. Sorry. 
actions class. So actions class is mainly used to execute your test cases on the browsers using keyboard and mouse actions. So you can do keyboard and mouse actions on the web page elements. So generally we are doing direct methods, right? But how can you do with the keyboard keys and mouse uh, actions on the web page elements? If you want to do that keyboard and mouse actions, we need to use a actions class. So actions is a class. And uh, so that class will provide a lot of APIs. We need to use those APIs. So let me show you so all those org dot open care dot um, uh, support dot uh, something. Uh, let me search that. Uh, I think in the so go here. Actions. Action. Actions. Package is org dot open key dot select dot support dot support dot ui support dot ui so is there an actions plus support dot events Let me see. Otherwise, let's go here and I will find out uh, the package name. I didn't remember exactly. So if we go to our blog, glory. Uh, so actions class, open get selenium dot interactions. So let's go selenium dot interactions. So interactions the docker dot for interactions, this one. Yeah, here is the actions class. So this actions class is mainly used to simulate uh, browser and keyboard actions. So actions class has a one parameterized constructor. That parameter you need to pass a web driver object. And we have a lot of methods here. Uh, click without any parameters. Click web element. So basically it clicks on the middle of the given element. And this one clicks on the where our mouse is there. Click and hold. So clicks without releasing at the current mouse location. Click and hold. So clicks at the uh, middle of the element. Click and hold this element. Basically click and hold. So this just clicks. This one is just click and hold. It won't release until you call the release method. There is a release methods. So if you call click and hold, you should call click release methods. So click and hold without parameters. If you call, you call this one. If you call click and hold web element, you call this one to release the mouse. Next, we have a context click. If you want to perform a right click operation on any element or a current mouse location, you will use a context click. So if you want to right click on particular element, you can use context click of web element. So there is a double click. So double click is you can uh, perform the double click operation on the element or where mouse is currently available. That's our double click operation here. So then there is a drag and drop. You can drag the source element into the target location. 
So there is a drag and drop by. So a source element can be dropped at the X and Y coordinate location. How can you get the X, Y coordinate location of an element? Which method we need to use? That's the problem. If you don't read the methods, and it's difficult to answer that. So I told you, so get tracked dot get x and get y methods. So you can get with that get y and uh, get x methods. So you can get the get active keyboard. Uh, so and also key down. You can press the particular key with this key down. It won't uh, release. You have to call again key up method to release that key. Which key you press it, you release with the key up method. So key down, you can press this key on this element. And if you want to release, you call key up. So then release the same key with the key up. So move by offset. You can move the cursor. So given X and Y coordinates. Move to element. The mouse over action can be done by this move to element method. So it will move the cursor to this element. Move to location. You can move the so cursor to uh, specified X and Y coordinates. So then perform method is a very important. After every action class method, you have to call perform method to complete the action. If you want to complete the action, so you need to call perform method after all these methods. It's a chaining. You have to chain the perform method. So I'll show you how to chain it. Scroll from margin, scroll to element. You can scroll until this element is so visible. Send case. You can send any number of keys. These are optional arguments. All the keys, multiple keys, you can send. Send keys. Again, you can send the these keys to this element. So these are the some of the action class methods. And uh, this class methods, how to use is first you have to create object for the actions class. Actions act equal to new actions of a driver. So then this act dot method name, then See, this is how chaining the perform method. So build method when you can use is, uh, for example, you want to uh, generate a composite actions, multiple actions. If you want to generate, you can use a build method. So you want to send multiple actions. Uh, then you can build all the actions. Then you can call the perform method on that. So this is the composite action. So method one, method two, method three, and multiple methods. And then call build method. On this build, you can call perform method to complete all these actions. So that's a build method and a perform method. When do you, perform method is every method after, you have to call perform method. You have to chain. So object uh, actions, object reference, dot method name, dot perform method. So this is the how you can call this actions class method. So now let's see the you quick uh, program on this. Uh, I'll explain one simple example. Okay, so first I'll show you this. I need to sort this. So like this, I want to sort. First access this so that you will get a better idea. Uh, so this is how uh, the 10 richest people are in the 
So in this list, but I have to order them as per their uh, current wealth, right? So that is a, this is the order. Jeff Bezos is the first person, then Bill Gates a second, Warren Buffett third, then this Bernard, Carlos, Juanco, and Larry Risen, Mark Zuckerberg, Michael Bloomberg. So these are the people. I want this list. But they, this order, it's not there, right, in this. So you have to swap. So you have to drag and drop here. So the, that drag and drop the elements. So on the particular index, this index numbers. One, two, three, four, five, this index numbers. So you, we took all the top list. And I want in this order, I need to sort all of them. So how can you sort that? So for that, so this is drag and drop, right? You're doing a drag and drop. If you want to do a drag and drop, you should use a actions class. So that's what I'm doing. First, so you create a, you know, a browser, so reference. Uh, maybe I'm using a Chrome driver, okay? Chrome driver. And then, so first, Web driver weight also you can create here itself. You don't need here. But uh, I just created and keep it not a problem. See this array. So in the array, I mentioned all the elements. Okay, so that's the array, uh, string array, and then actions class object actions equal to new actions of driver. So initialize the count into count because uh, so the counter starts here, this one. So one, two, three, four. That's why I'm giving counter one, first one. For string name colon, the collection name, array name. So first a draggable item. So you find out the draggable item. So wait dot until expected condition, the visibility of element located. So P contains text that name. So span contains text counter. Counter means this one and name means this one. So these names you see what order they are. See P. That's what I'm parameterizing that. So the name is you should not hard code, right? That's why. So I'm getting that name from the for loop here. From this top list. So wait for the visibility of that element, visibility of that index number, then drag and drop. So for drag and drop, what you need to give? The source element and the target position. So where you want to, so move that. Then build, build is not required. So you can just put a dot perform is enough. So dot perform is enough, see this drag and drop method after I'm chaining the perform method. So perform method, what it will do is it will complete the action. So that's a perform method. And then counter plus plus I'm incrementing the counter because the next iteration. So it has to change it to two, right? That's what. So when it comes to this is done next Bill Gates, right? The Bill Gates second position I need to place. So I need to place this second position Bill Gates. So that I will place it here. I'll drag and drop. So that's what I'm doing here. Then, so driver dot find element by dot ID, you just click on that. Okay. So that's what we are doing here. The check order. So we are going to check the order. This, this I'm clicking after all this. So then I'm getting all of them. So the list items, visibility of element located and uh, all these elements are present or not. And then I'm getting the, uh, the color and everything. So this is what uh, first test case on the actions. Let's run this. See, it is arranging them, all of them, done. So I'll change it to green color, right? So that's a green color. Uh, color this one. See, we were using get CSS value of color. So you will get the color and that color and this is the color they have 
So once it is arranged in the alphabetical order. So that's what, uh, you know, the test case we are doing. And similar, I'll give you one and you practice the drag and drop, same thing, okay? Uh, let me show you. So jQuery, Yeah, so you can just, this is the source, this is the target. You have to drag and drop here. So this is the one example. So in the drag and drop, you can do direct method by calling the direct method. There is a one more or three more methods. Combination is this drag and drop. So what are those three methods? One is click and hold. What is the first one? Click and hold. Click and hold. Then move to element. Second method you need to call move to element. Then third method you need to call release method. These three methods combination is the drag and drop. So try with that also. First you call direct method, drag and drop method. If it is working, then try first click and hold, hold the click and hold the source, click and hold the source and move to the target. That means move to element you have to call. Move to the element, move to element method you call actions dot move to element target, then release. So move to element dot release method you call dot perform. Every method after you have to call perform method. So that is the one task you need to do. And one more, so you have only source and you can give X and Y coordinates here by using drag and drop by method. So there is a drag and drop by method is there. This is the drag and drop first one. There is a drag and drop by method source X coordinate and Y coordinate. You try X coordinate, Y coordinate like some 90 or 120, something like that. So then see how we, whether it is moving here or not. Okay. So that's another. So what are the steps you need to follow for this? Uh, you have to first create object for actions class and identify this. So this is in the iframe inside. This is in the iframe inside. First you have to switch to iframe. Then you need to do that. Even both everything here in the iframe. So try that also. Okay. So these two exercises. Uh, do that and uh, tomorrow we'll uh, I'll show you more